Are you ready to take your taste buds on an adventure? This flavorful Lebanese kibbe bilaban or kibbe labani as some call it is packed with kibbe balls, simmered in a yogurt sauce and perfumed with sautéed garlic and cilantro. If you're following with us, you must have seen the detailed video of the kibbe balls tutorial. I'll go over some segments to show you how to make those kibbe balls. Now let's prepare the flavor enhancer, which we call kamone. In a bowl of food processor, add the cumin seeds, dried basil, dried marjoram, dried mint, peppercorns, allspice, edible rosebuds, bulgur, and chopped onions, and pulse a few times. To prepare the kibbe dough, grind the meat using a food processor to a paste-like consistency, preferably in two batches, or alternatively ask your butcher to grind it in his grinding machine, and then you will grind it later using your food processor. Now put the fine bulgur in a large heat-proof dish, and of course we're using grade one. Pour the boiling water and adding boiling water to soak the bulgur with is one of the secrets to crispy kibbe balls. Give a quick stir and set aside for 30 to 40 minutes allowing the bulgur to hydrate. And of course add the flavor enhancer which we call the kemmone. After 40 minutes knead the bulgur with your hands with ice water in a gradual fashion. Knead well for 20 minutes and the more you knead the better the result is. I don't knead bulgur with a food processor, I use my hands just like my granny and my mama did. Add the grind meat to the bulgur and knead well the mixture until it's fully integrated. Toast the onions with some oil to a golden brown color. Remove with a slotted spoon and add the minced meat and cook to seven to eight minutes. Then add the onions and the sumac, spices and salt. Stir well and toss in the pine nuts. Dampen your hands in some ice water and grab a handful of the roe could be the size of an egg. Dig in your finger to make a hole and work around the hole by pressing your finger to create a thin wall. Place a heaped tablespoon of the stuffing and seed it and shape the dough into an oval. Add a touch of water if needed to keep it smooth with no pokes. Set the kibbe on a tray as you make them. Now here I am back with some kibbe balls I have frozen when we made together the kibbe balls on YouTube. And the non-stop debate about kibbe bilaban. Do we have to add the kibbe balls to the cooked yogurt in the raw stage or do we have to cook the kibbe in advance? There is no right and wrong to taste preference. But my suggestion to a novice cook would be bake the kibbe balls in the oven just for 15 minutes. This will allow them to firm up and will prevent the kibbe from breaking while cooking. And now let's cook the yogurt. In the large heavy base pot, add the yogurt, egg and diluted cornstarch. Whisk well to homogenize the mixture and place over high heat and continue whisking in one direction. The yogurt needs attention to avoid it from curdling. It's crucial to whisk the yogurt constantly. Now kibbe bil laban is very tepalatable and you'll end up with a creamy, tangy and meaty concoction that would rank, in my humble opinion, is one of the world's most satisfying experiences. Yes, it's that good. If ever there is a quintessential Lebanese homey comfort main, it's kibbe bil laban. Be creative and try the savory Lebanese classic for dinner. You'll be proud to serve it to your family. Now I know it's a laborious recipe, but here's a strategy to break down the work. Kibbe bowls can be made a day ahead and refrigerated overnight or prepare the kibbe bowls and freeze them just like we did. Whenever you need to make kibbe bil laban, reach your freezer and make a batch. The rest of the recipe comes together relatively in quick steps. Once the yogurt boils in a clear way, gently add the kibbe balls in batches, reduce heat to medium, and keep it simmering uncovered, stirring gently every now and then with a wooden spoon to prevent the kibbe breakage. Cook for 15 minutes, allowing the flavors to mellow and develop together. And by the way, kibbe bilaban is a great option when you want to make a head recipe to feed a crowd. 
make the kibbe the day before, cook on the stove top and serve hot or at room temperature when company arrives. To fry the garlic and cilantro in a skillet, melt butter and oil. Add the garlic and fresh cilantro and cook over medium low heat and stir until fragrant about 45 seconds. Add to the kibbe bil laban and stir well to homogenize the mix. Cook for further 10 minutes and they'll add so much flavor to the dish. As the kibbe bil laban simmers, it'll fill your house with warm, savory smells. Once it's done, serve yourself a small bowl to taste it. You might need to add some salt if needed. Kibbe bil laban should be moderately thick. If it's too thick, add a splash of boiling water to it, and then and the consistency should be a bit thinner than the chowder. And note that it will thicken a bit upon cooling. Transfer to a large bowl or individual soup plates. This is what's called comfort food at its finest. Kibbe blaban can be eaten right away, piping hot from the pot, at room temperature, or cold right from the fridge. In Lebanon, it's common practice to serve yogurt-based dishes right from the fridge, especially on warm summer days. And now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Break open the kibbe. Dip in more yogurt and let your taste buds stretch the sensational pleasure in every bite. You've got to give this recipe a try. It's out of the world good. A masterpiece of our cuisine. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up and follow if you like our videos. I would really appreciate your support. The ingredients are in the description box and the link to the printable recipe is also in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and see you in a coming video.